All right. <clears throat> God bless you. God bless you. This is the servant of Jesus Christ, Robert Dunlap. God of Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Jesus Christ is alive and is now set on the right hand of the Father, according to the scripture. God sent his son, Jesus Christ, into the world to die for our sin. Blood shed for our sin. What do that mean? According to the scripture, praise God. The scripture say, "Behold, the let me let me let me just let me just give scripture, and I'm going and I'm going to give it from. I'm going to give it from uh, give it from Google. I'm going to give the scripture. I'm going to pull it up. I mean, you pull up everything else. I'm going to pull up Google. Maybe I need Behold the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. According to Wikipedia, it appears that John chapter 1 verse 29, I don't need you, John woman. the Baptist sees Jesus and exclaims, Hello. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. It All right. appears again in John chapter 1 verse 36. All right. John chapter 1 and verse 29. John chapter 1 and verse 36. Behold, the Lamb of God would take away the sin of the world. Christ came to take away your sin. Christ died to take away your sin. Yeah, Christ died for your sin to take them away. Why do you still have them? Matthew 1 21. Praise God. Glory to God. Mark 1, chapter 1, verse 15. Mark chapter 2, verse 17. Matthew 20. This is the blood of the New Testament, which is shed for men for the remission of our sins. Matthew chapter 26, and verse 28. Jesus said, the blood is for the remission of your sin. Praise God. Luke chapter 24, verse 47. Jesus told us to preach repentance and remission of sin. Repent of your sin. Remission of your sin. Christ required you to repent, and in repenting, in return, he will take your sin away. Acts 2.38, Acts 3, repent ye and be converted that your sin may be blotted out. Well, the word is sight me, people. Acts 3, verse 19. Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Repent ye devil, be converted that your sins may be plied out. Faith in his blood for the remission of sin. Romans chapter 3, verse 25. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Faith in his blood, his blood for the remission. His blood is to take away our sin. First John chapter 1. The blood of Jesus Christ cleans us from all sin. Christ's blood. That's what it's for. That's why Christ came. That's why Christ died. To take away our sin. Say, well, he died for my sin. Yeah, to take them away. 
Why do you still have this? Have you repented of your sin? Now, you can't say I repented. I'm still doing the same thing. You can't say that. Do you believe Christ take away your sin? Have you came to him? Romans 3 and, uh, I mean, Romans chapter 10 and verse number 13. Who's the way to call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. You believe take away your sin? Did you repent of your sin? Did you turn away from your sin? Huh? Praise God. You believe he take away your sin? You believe he died for your sin? You believe he died to take away your sin? Do you want him to take away your sin? All right. Call on him. Call him. Call him. He, he, he's alive. Call him. Who's the way to call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. All right. Now. Praise God. And we, and we, we thank God. We make it our business to. If what you just heard was the gospel, the purpose of Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection, we make it our business on every video. The majority of our video, now I say ninety-nine percent, we make it our business to give you the gospel. All right, now, on yesterday, <coughs> in the book of Titus, and, and, and we did, and the Lord dealt me to, led me to, work on that some more. Titus, chapter one, glory to God. I'm glad I'm a servant of Jesus Christ. Titus chapter number one. Titus. We we dealt with it yesterday. The Lord led us to, 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 to work on that some more. Work on that. Watch it. Titus chapter one and verse number 10. Uh Part. Titus chapter 1 and verse number 10. We better start with verse number number 7. Number 6, rather. That's all five. <laughs> Titus 1 and 5. For this call that I left thee a creed, that thou shouldst say in order the thing that I want. And ordained elders in every city, as I have appointed thee. If it be blameless, yeah, you got to be blameless. You got to be blameless. You can't be walking around talking about the elders got sin. Uh -uh. You got to be blameless. The hub of the one wife, you can't have no two wives and three wives and five wives. I believe Solomon had, what was it, 300 wives and 700 concubines? Oh, no. One wife. Having faithful children, not accused of riot and unruly. It's nobody being accused of your children. Pray to God. For a bishop must be blameless, a steward of God, a steward of God, not the nomination steward, but a steward of God. God is not divided. Not self-willed, not about flesh, self, pride. Not soon angry, not given to wine, no striker, not given to fear to lucre, not given to fear to lucre. You give it over to money. You, that means you'll do anything to get it. You'll tell a lie in the pool pit. And say, God said, so is he but milk. And God still quite tired and off. You ain't none of y'all paying no tithes to God. Now tell a lie. You ain't. That going in your pastor's pocket and paying the bills of your, of your church bill. Well, but a love of hospitality. 
a love of good men, sober, just, holy, temperate, holding fast the favor word which he had been taught, the words you've been taught, not obey leadership, but the word you've been taught, holding fast to the word you've been taught, the word you've been taught, the word. That he may be able by sound doctrine, both to exhort and convince the gang sale. Yeah, we're going to convince you that don't know that talking all crazy and talking false doctrine. We're going to convince you. Yes, we are. But there are many unruly, vain talking and deceiving. We're going to convince you, special day of the circumcision, who mouth must be stopped. We got to stop your mouth. If we don't stop your mouth, you will who subvert whole houses. You will subvert entire houses. One verse Jesus said, the, the Pharisee, the, the hypocrite, they devour widow's houses. Get everything the widow got. And they probably will provide for the widow. Uh-oh. Convince the gang sale. Oh, you gonna be convinced? No, you ain't gonna come out. Where the Holy Ghost that convict? The Holy Ghost do convict through the word. But now I mean, I'm really vain talking to the serious fact they are circumcised, who mouth must be stopped, who subvert whole house, teach the thing they all not fulfilled in Lucas say. Watch it. One of themselves, even a prophet of their own, said, Look at Nick, look at name the creatures, always liars, evil beasts, and slow better. Well, we can say that a lot of these church God of Christ priests are always lies, evil, slow better. What's a slow better? Let's let look at Let's see if Google got that. What's a slow better? My God, all day. Yet, 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 yes, the Baptists allowed them always liars, apostolic faith, Methodist, Christian, a lot of them are always liars. Yeah, we call your name and we teach the people. Yeah, you a liar. Slow belly. We know you're evil, your work's evil. Let's see what that is. All oh, lazy, heavy, glut. That's you. You don't want to wet. One verse say if it don't work, don't eat. One verse say you're going from house to house. Leading, leading silly women. And that's, and that's who y'all get along. Mostly women. Well, I guess I've been leading that long. How can they allow me in that chat? Because they ain't no sucker. Like the women, they ain't go but like the women, and yet God do have some good, faithful women. All women ain't go. I need to make that clear. All women ain't go. So, so I won't be accused and get put on Facebook by teeth talking. I'm not talking against women. But the woman is the weaker vessel. Naturally. <laughs> hey, oh, and that, that, and that's another lesson I'm going to do. In, in Christ, the, in, in the spirit, nobody weak in the spirit. <laughs> You're weak in the flesh. That's, we, that's another topic we're going to do another time, God willing. But you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost. So, how do we stop their mouth? Now, I'm in a building now. You can, if, it, if I had a congregation, or no congregation, I control what is taught in this house. I control what you bring me in this house. 
I control if I know you're a false prophet. In the book of 3rd John. Look it up. 3rd John. Yeah, we have some control. If we know that you ain't right, we, we ain't putting you up to preach. And we ain't going to vow for you. And we ain't going to lay hands suddenly on you. And we ain't going to be at you God's speed. And Lord, my God today. Boy, this is good. Third zone. Look at what it says. I'm sorry, I want second zone. It says, whosoever transgress, second John verse 9, who, whosoever transgress abide not in the doctrine of Christ. You're seeing it, you ain't abiding in the doctrine of Christ. You're telling lies in the pulpit to get money, you ain't abiding in the doctrine of Christ. you saying that, wait, you saying ain't nobody perfect, you ain't abiding in the doctrine of Christ. Called the doctrine of Christ, you're going to say everything Christ said. You say, ain't nobody got no heaven and hell put in. You ain't nobody in the doctrine of Christ. You said, Jesus said, don't judge. You ain't nobody no doctrine of Christ. Uh huh. Praise God. You better read what Jesus said. You got a beam in your eye, praise God. You can't judge nobody. That's what he said. First, get to be my yo eye. Then you see clearly how to get the more out of your brothers out. All right. You're transgressing. You're sinning. You say you got sin. You ain't in the doctor of Christ. Call Christ saved from sin and forgive sin and cleanse from sin. So, what's the deal with sin? Mm -hmm. How you repent? Who's there a transgress a bad not Dr. Christ? Well, we all human. You ain't in Dr. Christ. Call Christ saying you must be born again. Who's there a transgress a bad not Dr. Christ? You're lying in the pulpit saying God still requires time off. You ain't about in the doctor. You sure ain't about in Dr. Christ. Christ said, I have mercy, not sacrifice. Mmm. -hmm. A lot of y'all don't know that. Let's get that. I believe that's the ninth chapter, I believe. I will have mercy and not sacrifice. Matthew 9, 13. Call Jesus a lie. Then read Hebrew chapter 7, the whole chapter, and I dare you to call, call the Bible a lie. You ain't about you ain't buying Dr. Christ. Watch it. And you, and you don't have God. You don't have God. You ain't don't you ain't don't believe in the Son of God. You don't have God. You ain't don't you you ain't say that God God Himself came that the Father came down here. You don't have God. <laughs> you are Antichrist. You don't have God. All right. If there be any, if they are calm to you, now this time I come to you. Coming to you. If they, I don't care if your pastor, if they come to you, what did he say? Receive him not in your house. Don't let him in your house. It's time for the for you for you preacher to don't let the false prophet in the pulpit. Don't let him preach in the convocation. Watch it. Nor be him God's speed. He that be him God's speed is a partaker of an evil deed. You let a false prophet come and a false prophet tell a lie. You don't tell him, but you let the false prophet tell the lie. You're a partaker of, of his evil deed. That makes you a false prophet. If you support a false prophet, you a false prophet. So how can we stop them out? We, that one way can, we can do it. Uh-uh, you can't come up in here. You can't come in here. You, you ain't preaching that here. You know they used to do that years ago. Don't you preach that no more here. They used to do that years ago. You ain't preaching that here. Praise God. You ain't preaching that here. 
One verse say, the, 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 the dog came, said they was a part of you, found them lying. We found out you was a lie. Uh-huh. So we shut you down. Praise God. You, if, you, if you got control over a house, if you the head of a house, if you the head of a church building, you control what, what you let be taught in there. If somebody preach a false doctrine, you know, don't, don't you let them in that pulpit. Sometimes you don't know what they preach it. But if you know what they did, you call them in question. And they preach publicly. You straight that mess out publicly. Don't let them in your house. Don't let them in your house. Don't you let them in your house. Jesus said, be well. How, we can, how can we stop their mouth with the word of God? Stop their mouth. Stop it. Stop them out. Stop them at the door. These prayer conferences, these prayer meetings you go to, and these conferences you go to. See, see, you can control if you over a building, you can control what you let come in. Now, if you're not over the building, you can't control what you let come in. The Bible speaks about They crept in on the wells. Jude chapter 1 and verse 4. They snuck in. They were faking. Watch it. Who privately teach things. That's wrong, that's wrong, that's wrong. For prophets privately teach things that they shouldn't. Private. <laughs> they would have itching ears. I According to Wikipedia, for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. But after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers, having itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the... You're going to heap to yourself teachers. The fall prophet, had you have an itching ear, you want to hear something new, fresh, rainbow. Lying prophets, you heap, you heap them teachers to you. You turn away your ear from the truth. You turn away from the, from the whole truth preachers, the godly preachers. Uh huh, uh huh. Don't you heap to them. Don't go. On, don't go on they on they Facebook uh prayer uh prayer call. You lie to hear anything on that. See, we control something, but we can't control. Pray God when they talk to you on the telephone. If you go to the book of in the Old Testament, it say uh in the book of the thirteenth chapter of the book of Deuteronomy. It say whoever it is, don't care if your family member, come to you privately, saying, let go serve other gods. They say, bring them, put your hand on, them. bring them out. Don't you do that. Pride. See, sometimes they go in private. See, you got to be careful what you take in. Now, some, now we got to teach you, so on your part, you let it be a curse. Galatians 1, they say, let there be a curse. Watch it. In the 15th chapter, I believe it is, of the book of Acts, you had folk came down telling people, telling people, you got to keep the law to be saved, keep the law of and be circumcised. And they went to the apostle, and the apostle shot it down. We control something. Praise God. But some of you going to be control. Some of you going to be going to come face to face with false doctrine. It is in your power to let them be a curse. 
one verse said, hallelujah. Look, look at how I'm using Google. Mark them which cause division, contrary to the doctrine. Mark them. Mark them which cause division. Mark them. Romans 16, 17. Mark them which cause division and our offense and contrary to a doctrine and avoid them. Oh, we got we got to mark you. And when you mark, everybody see that mark. Yeah, we call your name, you hell bound fault prophet. Yeah, we call your name. So others may know it is not personal. You don't take a trade to the word of God. Peter will to Paul. I mean, Paul will to Peter. And which stood because he was teaching the word of God. Uh-huh. And pray God we had to have, have, have and still have to have the privilege. Many have came to us and we stopped their mouth. It said whose mouth must be stopped. We stopped a lot of them mouth. They, they left the Facebook page. They left the YouTube page. I even been cussed out. Uh, because we mock Bishop. The Bible says mock them because of Bishop. Contrary to the doctrine. I don't care if it's your bishop, my bishop, your pastor, my pastor. I'm a market, or him or her. Yeah. Sometimes you, sometimes, sometimes you have young, young convert, baby say, and they see that mess going on. Don't do it. Don't know. Don't know the. You either when you let fall doctrine fall properly in your house. Listen. Don't you know that you are confusing the baby saints? I've had baby saints come to me. What, what about that? I say it's wrong. I don't care if Pastor did do it. It's wrong. You follow Jesus. Your mouth stopped. When it comes to the scripture, you know, we, we were talking about scripture. They say, talk about going in Buddha's house. In the kingdom hall. In the mosque. They say, talk about going in, talk about among us. You got to stop their mouth with the word of God. And I did much of it, praise the Lord, in the civilized here. All that false doctrine rising up there. And I had to knock it down. Praise God. Convince the gang sale. One call me. And he, when we got through, he was convinced. He'd been preaching wrong. See, some folks teach what they've been taught. Let's leave right there. All right, we'll leave it there. All right, God bless you. Thank all of you for viewing. May the Lord bless you real good. Stop they mouth. Stop them out. And I say so often, doing my, when I get through teaching, I say I dare anybody to call the scripture a lie. Some come on giving me a uh, 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 commentary. Don't you bring me no commentary. All right. Stop they mouth. How you stop they mouth with the word of God? How you stop they mouth? Don't you endorse them? How you stop they mouth? Mark them. So others may know. Rebuke some and open where others may feel. That me let others that watch and know he wrong. Many have rose up. I mean many. I could call them, I got a list. I can call them name. And they still rise. And we stop in their hell by our mouth with the word of God. All right. You can stop from coming into your house. 
You can stop them from getting in the pulpit past the other building. You can stop them from probably getting in the pulpit and preaching. Don't let them preach nothing. All right. Thank you, Maria. Let's see. 